Hello, welcome back to Galactic Civilizations for Supernova and our tutorial series, our final day with our tutorial series here. I want to make sure that we cover a little bit of combat today. And I want to talk about some of the custom civilization creation that you can do and kind of like what a normal game would look like when you start in a normal game rather than just tutorial. So we'll cover all that stuff today. Thanks again, Stardock, for sponsoring this series. And first thing is our citizens of Pine 2 are unhappy. How dare they? Easiest way to, to fix that is going to go pop in here and lower our taxes. It's going to cut into our money making, but you can see what, what that does for us over here. We're going to lose from 16 to 6 on our income, but our research is going to go up. Our manufacturing output is going to go up because of approval. So that's probably for the best for right now anyway. So we'll also get some trade here in just a minute, and that will fix some of our money problems if we don't go to war first. Um, I got a pop-up over here for something. We have a survey report. We came across a psychological analysis speculated that installing this guilt magnifier on a core world could drastically reduce crime rates. A lost cargo container. So we can stash it in the vault, which is this column here, and use it for a later date, later time. Break it down for a Durantium, or sell it on the Galactic Market for some credits. I wonder if I can... I'm going to store it. And I can get minus 5 crime if I go and activate this thing. What's, what's the crime rate on Earth? 6%. What is it over here in uh, Pine? What's your crime rate? 8%. Well... Um, I, I, uh, let's go see what, what this does. I'm going to put it in Earth. 1% crime. That's concerning. Seeing a red, big red glowy ball over Earth, but everyone is not stealing things now, I guess. So she's yelling about our taxes being a little low, and we are losing money. Uh, so I probably should have just sold that thing, but I, want, I was curious to see what it did. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. We're going to build some ships. We're going to get our, our uh, trade running. We're going to build some colonies. And we'll get some we'll get some resources cranked in here as well. If we ever really need money, we can always sell some Durantium to uh, either the market. Or we can sell it to the, the Drangan. We'll probably do this right here right now. We can sell it right now for a little bit of cash. You know, a little bit of cash. Nothing, nothing too exciting. But it's something, I suppose keep us afloat this one was the serrated, serrated munitions tech pirate shipyard which I haven't seen yet we got to colonize a few more planets okay and we got another system over here of what uh, a Bali which are all kind of ordinary planets we could just like grab these guys to, to feed earth um, there are no stars over on this side so I think we've actually seen every star no, I got a few over here I haven't gotten to yet. Um, well, probably doesn't do much more than just explore, so we'll just tell him to explore. He can go look at the edges of the galaxy, I guess, or edge of the system. High pollution has led to the birth of a new pathogen on the planet. Oh, nice. Unclear where exactly it started. <laughs> okay, so we've we've our pollution is causing problems. We can quarantine everyone till the cure is found, which is going to hurt a lot of things. Uh, too late to stop the virus from hurting this world, but we must keep it from spreading to other worlds, which will... My citizens that are here will become plagued. And the influence is bad. They'll survive it. Enemies may be incapacitated by it, but let's hope it spreads. And it soon become plagued, and plague can spread to connected worlds. Ugh. Uh, let's do that one. We could just... Yeah, we could do that, I suppose. You know what? Maybe we should do something about that. About the, the uh, pollution problems. That's probably something we should... We shouldn't... Like... Let's, let's do that. Uh, let me switch this over to, um, I'm going to take this one, so our ships are a little bit stronger. I'll start making some ships here in a minute. That's also going to hurt my money, isn't it? Yeah. Money's going to be going down even further. Okay, well, we'll get some money. Trade offer. So these guys want to give me, if I give you seven bucks, you're going to give me open borders. Um, I don't know whether I care about that. No. Um, no. No oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, seven bucks is pretty precious to me at the moment, so we're not gonna, not gonna do that. Um, let's go fix our money problem. So, 
We've got things like, let's see. You are my beacon. You're my capital city. So if I were to come in here and say slap down like a financial district, that'll give me a nice bonus to money. Research would be way better here. Let's just stay there for research. Um, I'll do it here, though. This is best served for research. But I really need money, and it's going to give me a level 2 because it's next to the capital city. Um, I don't know that I have any better spots for money-making. Looking for my adjacency bonuses. I don't see anything that's too fantastic. That's a plus 1 to wealth. You know, that, that's sure, that's fine. Let's do that one. And let's do that one now. Well, what's more important, food or money? I suppose money is. Let's get that one done. And, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take you off of farming and train you as an entrepreneur. Because we got food now. We need money. So he'll go and make us some cash. And we'll hopefully get some more citizens in this place because Earth is kind of barren at the moment. We sent everyone off to go colonize. Our colony is situated on a planet Ooh. that to be the main hunting territory for a species of enormous worms. Worms. This area is undeniably the make sure we walk without rhythm. So we can pro... pro uh, protect the megafauna would be a surprise for invaders, so we'll get a collectivism uh, focus bonus. Um, we lose a we lose a tile. These worms have been here first. But we we have bigger guns. Wipe them out. So we get total. total I can't say that word. Totalitarianism <laughs> and a and a farming bonus, or two words. Worm rodeo. Yeah, that's the word I use because that's a lot of money. Worm Rodeo. I should have named the planet Worm Rodeo. All right, this place is going to be a, um, a habited, a core world. So we're going to go hire somebody for this. I don't have any money. All right, let me sell some of my stuff off. I'm going to sell three of those. How much is that going to be? It gives me 100 bucks. Go down to two of those. And how much does it take to hire somebody? I feel like 300 aren't they? 283. So we'll... We'll get that. As soon as we can, we'll get this one colonized. Right now, it's just going to feed into one of my other planets, so that's fine. You know, it's doing something. Okay, what do we got? Oh, yeah, build something. Um, let's get... Let's go make a... Let's make a cutter real quick. And make a couple of ships. To get to check that out. Okay, and we're going to go do some trading. So we're going to trade over with these guys, give us a little bit of cash... So I could certainly use some of that. And we have a flagship looking to find some things. And there's an artifact right there. There has to be artifacts just so close to Earth. I guess this must be a tutorial mission thing. Our vessel has chanced upon a unique artifact. A unique artifact. We can keep it. It seems to be a cage, but not one It's a cage. Take cage in possession. Ready to release a monster when needed. Or study it. Yeah, keep the artifact. Creature was forced out of another dimension and trapped in ours. Release it, but it may go after us as well. Spawn a minor space monster. <laughs> yep. Can I put it right there? I can, apparently. I wish I had... I need to get a ship over there so I can see what he's doing. You, come here. Go check out that space monster. What are you doing over there? Oh, it's there. That's their independence, huh? All right, we both have one. Okay. He's good in here. I want to take a look at that space monster over there. Uh, spaceships are fragile things. We get some defensive studies. Railguns, directed energy weapons, or Avenger missile systems. The tech we're trying to get to, I forget what it's called. Um, there's a lot less here for this tutorial. Um, we actually may not be able to get that, that tech because of the tutorial. So, we'll just stick with railguns. Can you see over here yet? Can't quite make it. Where is he? Did they blow him up? Where's my, where's my alien? They may have blown him up. Okay, idle shipyard. This is at Earth. Hmm, modules... Just takes. Well, just give me some modules. That's probably a good idea. Or constructor can give me a. Oh, you know what? Constructor could probably be a good idea. Build a starbase. Let's get that guy done. Uh, 
Um, you can get Starbase Defense System, which is good. That's a lot of lot of attack. That's a lot of bonuses there, or a manufacturing bonus for some Durantium. Yeah, you know what? Do that. We can do both of them, but I'm not really fighting anything just yet. So that's fine. And then I'm not sure where the space monster went. They may have killed it. It saddens me. I wanted to see it. There's a cruiser. We'll pop him in with these other guys. We'll collect them all up and we'll colonize that planet. Precursors were here. We can use the Durantium that's already here for some manufacturing bonus. Armoring to all ships. Or connect to all ships. I will take some connect to all ships. Okay. And these are all feeding in the earth until we can afford somebody go to go govern this. We could actually do it without having to do that because I can just take someone off of here and throw them into that system. For instance, my diplomat. He ain't doing anything. Let's go put him into this one. There we go. Perfect. Plus he's going to give me a lot of money. So actually that's probably going to fix a lot of problems. Yeah, that's, we're, we're about even now. Food is looking great now. But this will feed into this system. And look at this planet. It even looks cool. Uh, colony, uh, core world capital is always the first thing we're going to put down. And we want to put it somewhere centralized so that its core, so that its bonus will feed all kinds of things. Gold fields over there. So I'm thinking like maybe right there in the mountains. If I can put the mountains. Yeah. And then all this stuff will get a bonus. We can put some manufacturing over there. Some research over there. This is a, um... Give us a manufacturing bonus. I'm going to put him, like, right there. Build that up. And we'll get some money over here. Actually, I'm going to do that first. Financial district. We'll get some cash cranked out of this place. We can always automate if we, we want to be lazy. Sigma, uh, this one, which is also a good planet, which could be a core cool world of its own as well. And I'm maybe a good idea to do that. Is feeding into there. This one can also be colonized and feed into there. We found a monolith. Gain a one-time burst of knowledge. Your flagship stumbles upon a relic from a More surveys. Uh, manufacturing to all worlds for 20 months. Or stash it. Yeah, I'll take it. Discovery. You have leveled up as well. So we can get crew quarters, command bridge, communications terminal. terminal. I'll take the crew quarters. 75 hit points now. So, I do want to show off some fighting, so I'm going to go and start working that direction. So, let's load up my fleet. I want all of you guys to pop on out of here. I can do it that way, or I can click on this eject all ships, and they go out. So now we got a, a fleet of four. Soul Fleet 3, they call it. Uh, I've got another ship I could patch in here, but this will be fine. So, my fleet... You can see all my stats sort of packed together in this system here. So we've got beam attack, we've got missile attack, we've got kinetic attack, shield strength, armor rating. Those all are factoring into there with giving us a, a, a text, a combat rating of 10. And so we're going to move this guy as a fleet up this direction. We're going to go shoot somebody. Looks like there is a thing here, a ship graveyard that has, it is lightly defended. We're going to take a look at also. We might swing around up there and see what we can find before we go pick a fight with these guys. It does give you a bit of a, a tip. It's like if we were to fight their strong their stronghold, we will have extreme casualties. They will have no casualties. Means don't don't do that. Um, we can have, we can invade. We can send in, um, of course, invasion fleets to go attack people as well. I will not gift this fleet. I want to go look at this thing and see what that is. I've explored every planet except for these few over here. You can see they're kind of grayed out, so we can probably go check out those things as well. There's a constructor ship over there building a starbase at the moment. Uh, my fleet. I'm going to have you guys go over here. I'm not sure why that sound effect is so loud. Sigma 3, Sigma 13 are unhappy now. We need, she wants a governor at that planet as well, which is a good idea. But I need money. And we should colonize that sitlet system, which I do want to do, which I may actually be in range of now. Um, I am in range of it. Just barely in range of it. So if I had more people laying around, I don't have any people, any colonists able to go do some colonizing. We need to, we need to just need to grow and I'll send some people out. Speaking of growing, um, there's an economic stimulus. So that would, that's probably what I need to do is just spend some, some points and give me some cash. hundred bucks. Is that better to do than just like build a, um, one of these, like 
a manufacturing district, a, fi uh, a financial district. That's certainly better in the long run. It only takes five turns. Let's just do that, and then we'll crank some money into here. We have one extra citizen in that planet now. Pine is idle as well. And one person here. This was... Oh, yeah. So I wanted, what I wanted to do is turn this into an agricultural. Because that's going to be a good spot. Plus one population. Let's do that one first. Because this one I might I might do manufacturing because of the bonus. Because of because of the adjacency to this guy. Uh, sorry, this guy. This guy. Manufacturing. There. Okay. Next turn. Minimal ceremony. First of your trading frigates pushes away from the slip. We got a frigates to trade. Is that what that was? He goes out there and we're making some money now. We should be making some money now. Trade man, you can see the, the dotted line go in there. Which means that we are making a little bit of cash. Um, I forget where I see my trading amounts. Is it in here? Uh, trade amount income. So, plus 7.58 with my trade income. That's pretty good. I need to make more money. Where am I fleet at? Let's go fight and finish this off. Uh, this tutorial off. With a bang. Probably a, a, a bang by one of my ships. Yeah, you scoot on over there. We'll fly into their space. We will not fight their, sta their station. We'll just get whooped if we do that. They had a couple ships hanging around. I think they must be... They docked in there. Around here somewhere. Let's go see what this thing up here was. I don't know what that is. So we'll go scout on up there. Let's see what's going on over there. Uh, how many planes do I have? I gotta be getting close. Uh, also, I was I was meaning to show this uh, multiple times, and I keep on forgetting to do it. If you ever wondering like where all my planets are, there is a way to see easily where all the planets are and what is what is good and what is not good, what's uncolonized, what's colonized, where all your planets. It's, there is a way of seeing all this and organizing everything um, over here. There's me, the balance of power, and you can see all these stats, which we're whooping them right now because they're on easy. Uh, my fleets that I've got, where you know, where is my probat? There he is. Where's my independence guy at? There he is. So, I, I just forget about it. Okay, probe. Um, come over here, I guess. Just wasting time for you because we're going to go fight somebody. Shipyard is idle. Let's go make... Um, oh, you know what? I'll show you a new design right now. So, again, this is completely customizable. You can go to this menu... Outside the game, in the main menu as well, and you can craft all this stuff up, and you can pop it up on the Steam Workshop as well, and pick whatever. Uh, we'll make a frigate. It's our new design. So this frigate we're going to craft here. We can go and select what is on it. Is it a, is it a laser thing? Where's those lasers going to go? They're going to go right over there. We can toss some rockets on here. Um, and I think... I'm trying to remember how to do... I haven't messed with this much. There's the, oh, there's the cosmetic mode. So you can go and you can change everything. You can, if you want to build the Enterprise, you can do that. Um, all this stuff is in here. And, and then as you add these these systems, it'll feed into all of your stats over here. And you can't, you know, you can only have so much stuff and how much equipment you can put in there. Uh, in the cosmetic mode, then you can start adding in um, well, all kinds of, well, that's just, here we go, core. And then we can go and add in I don't, I don't know. I've never mess, really messed with this much. But you can start adding in all kinds of things. Um, I have a drone orb in here from, you know, a board ship. So, yeah. There's a, so, there you go. Um, but you can customize anything. That's my point. Uh, constructor, I would like you to go. What was I going to do with you? I think I was going to send you up here to go do some some to help this system out by by um, you know economically. With a survey, we can go toss it in the vault, or we can sell it for credits. I'm going to sell it for some money. I don't even care what it does. I need some cash, and with that cash, I um, actually I'm not sure. I would just well obviously it's going to be better to, to colonize this place, isn't it? Class twenty seven. Yeah, it's occasionally my 2%, but all that stuff can be fed into, like, better things. He's supremely arrogant. As a diplomat, he reduces that. 
Uh, increases individualism, ideology awareness, and loss or sense of smell in industrial accidents. That's good to know. Good to know. Um, not very loyal. I'm going to take Jeff here. Now we have new planets. And this is going to give us a bonus of manufacturing nearby here. This will give us... Oh, it's a, a bonus effect of, of Durantium and Kinetic Attack. Okay. Manufacturing nearby. So this is going to be a good manufacturing place. I, mean, I can probably go like... What was that? Bonus research there. Maybe something like here. And then we can throw in the manufacturing guy there. There, I think it's better. And then we can put in... Oh, yeah, that was research. Put in research over here. Which we'll get to eventually. What's up? Uh, you want to build something? Sure. Um, oh, oh, um. Make me... There's Eventually we'll get things like we can just manufacture um, more than just modules. And more useful things than just modules for sure. So, but for the... For the we're nearing the end here. And I want to show combat. And so we're going to see what we can do. We can go take a look at that, or we can go see if we can find... There is a fleet right here. What is it? A couple of little pests. Um, let me show you. So, the way to fight. A couple different things we can do. So we can see they've got six hit points. Five attack, two uh, siege strength. We can, from right where we are right now, we can just send a volley, a beam volley at them. I think I can. I think I need to be at war with him. Yeah. Uh, let me go to war with him first. Uh, diplomacy. And we're gonna say, I hate you. Time for you to die. I'm sorry, buddy. That's just the way it is. Just wait. It's, it's just your eyes or something. So now we can beam a, beam volley these guys and blast them. And kind of weaken them up as we get there. So actually, we weaken, we weaken them very well. But we can also go in and actually go into attack, which I'm one square away from being able to do. That. So next turn, I'll show some combat because there is a there is a tactical combat mode, which will take which will take you in. And, and it's there's not a lot you can do with it, but you can kind of watch the battle take place. Um, and I want to I want to go out with a bang and so we're gonna go out with a bang we're gonna go and attack um we're gonna lose every battle we fight like extremely lose every battle we fight but in the interest of science let's do it so we can just auto the battle or we can watch the battle so he's got 100 hit points 10 strength i mean it's actually kind of close that way but he's gonna whoop us so we'll go ahead and watch and it's gonna send us into a tactical, kind of like an auto battler kind of style, where we can sit back here and watch this, watch this abuse unfold. Uh, there is a free cam we can do. We can go switch this thing around. Cinematic mode. We can watch us die in style, and we can see the stats that are popping up along here as as it goes. There goes some missiles to my flagship. Go back to. Um, I'm not sure which one of these I like better. I mean, we're doing a little damage to him. Pew, pew. My guy's just going to kind of park there. Good, good. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Actually, I got, I'm surprised I got him down to half health. Okay. Um... There it goes. Okay. I guess the guy survived. Um, <laughs> okay, I escaped out of that one. But there we go. Uh, extreme casualties. You know how that works. Uh, okay, so I think that pretty much covers the basics, the tutorial basics, right? You're off to the start. This is like a beginner's guide, and that pretty well covers it. Um, you can see where we, 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 control, we are starting to control the sector. Our goal is to control the sector. That's the whole goal of this whole tutorial is to control the sector, but that's also... The goal of everything else. Uh, let's go out to the main menu. There's always victory status, and you can see what. Um, oh, this is the mission summary, isn't it? For this one, normally you get a kind of a victory status of cultural and all that kind of stuff. But we're gonna go into the main menu, 
and I'll show you the start of a new game and what it would look like getting into here. Um, several different different races to choose from, and they are very different. Like even the different humans are going to play quite a bit differently than what the other humans are going to play as. You've got um, all these abilities and all these these uh, uh, the biology. The mostly the abilities are going to strongly change the way they they play. So for instance, the dragon folks, they get a big bonus from trade routes established with warring races. So you want to like maybe use your spies to get people at war and then just feed off that trade. Uh, you get a research from precursor artifacts and anomalies. Starts with additional policy slots. Interesting. Uh, we've got the, like the robots. These guys are synthetic and so they do not breed. They have to build their people. Uh, you've got the evil Korath clan which they do not have transport ships. They can only send spore ships out and remove and remove planets, basically. They're also genocidal, so they will convert other species to uh, living neural network batteries. So nice, nice folks. But yeah, a lot of them change quite a bit. And there's a whole bunch of things you can you can pick up off the Steam Workshop. You can also customize them with Alien GPT. They call it, where it's a sort of uh, AI generated uh, race crafting. Um, faction crafting, and I'll show that now. Let's go into well. We'll do this now. So I'll make a, um, a random race. I'll also show off the new how a game starts. So we'll create our own faction here, and we can type in whatever we want these guys to be. These are a race of um, uh, um, calico cats. Uh, cali calico cats with hats. They're carbon-based, they are nihilistic, um, and they are going to be merciless and cruel. Generates. They live on a jungle planet. Yeah, that works. Uh, the leader name, all that stuff will be, will be randomized. Let's go ahead and generate. Create a, a race of the Cosmic Feline Alliance. The Calico Cats with Hats. There we go. And it gives you a whole or perfectly adorned Galactic Guardians. I've messed with this quite a bit. Uh, so I have other videos where I've covered this, but just to give you a quick rundown, we can choose our cats. And of course, <laughs> there's cheese in there. Uh, if we don't like any of these, we can say, I want something like that, more like that guy. There we go. Oh, you're not a calico, though. That's pretty good, though. Okay, I like that one. So there we go. There's our, these are our leader portrait. We can change our logo as well. Uh, this is the Void Master Luna is her name. Uh, my star system is going to be Noctilure, which I don't think I like, but whatever. Uh, and then, of course, you can change the color scheme and all that stuff. And abilities, you can change all this stuff. There's where your traits come in, and there's where your civilization abilities, which changes a lot of stuff within it. And your fleet you can customize. Um... But uh, we'll leave you guys alone. I want to show the starting of a game to show what that looks like. So I'll choose one of my custom ones. Uh, no, no, we'll pick one. We'll pick the dragons. Um, no. Okay, so these guys we can we can choose. We can still we can automatically we can as we get in here we can change things. You don't you don't have to take the ones that are the, the straight uh, Drotha. Um, but we'll leave it as, as it is. We can we can adjust all the different stats. Clever, militant, and what we want with that. The different colors of our ships. What our ships look like. Um, but most importantly, what I want to show is this. Which is your game settings that you start up. So what, that one we were playing at in the tutorial was just a tiny map. But you can go all the way up to giant maps. Which has several different sectors within each uh, uh, galaxy. How many stars are in there. How many planets. You can map, like, customize all those. And, of course, difficulty and all of that is in there. Whether there are minor races we, we, didn't, we didn't see in the tutorial, they are there. Uh, hostile entities like pirates, for instance, they weren't there. Um, and there's advanced settings. Do you want trade tech trading on? Do you want AI not to be able to surrender? All this stuff is in here. All the different victory conditions that you can mess with, which is what I mostly wanted to show off, the victory conditions that you can adjust. Um, and then who else is in the game along with you? And then you begin the game. So there you go. There is Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova, a tutorial. 
I think it's mostly covered. If you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments. I will do my best to answer those. I've got uh, I've got quite a bit of time in in Galsiv four over the uh, over the many months that it has been in development. So I will do my best to answer. Hopefully, someone else. If I can't answer, someone else will answer it for you. Uh, but thanks again, Stardock, for sponsoring this series. And of course, there will be links below to the Steam page. But you can check it out. Wish list, all that good stuff for some Galactic Civilizations. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.